Dudes, Versace Oud Noir 2013. This is Versace's answer to the Oud craze. Uh, I just recently got it, and I'm going to give you five things to know before you buy this beast. First thing you need to know is the Oud in this is quite subtle. Uh, the reason I got this was because Versace, I know, is a good sort of mid range brand. I tried a really expensive Oud fragrance, and the Oud was just unbelievable. I really like the smell of Oud. But if you don't know, oud is a resin and it smells really, really wealthy. This has oud and you can definitely get it especially early on in the fragrance. It opens really nicely with a pretty good hit of oud, but as it dries down, it, the oud kind of wears off. So it's a subtle oud. It's a subtle oud fragrance. Second thing you need to know before you buy this is, this is 10 to $15 more than a typical Versace fragrance. Um, so, yeah, you know, Versace is like famous for like the 50 to $55 sort of price tag, um, reasonable, approachable, but that because Oud is hard to synthesize and also Oud is quite rare, that's going to be run you, depending on like what, you, what Versace fragrance you're talking about, should be somewhere between $10 and $15 more. Third thing you need to know is the name gives it away. It's Versace Oud. Noir. Now, when I bought that, I bought that for the oud part. Very important that you realize that the noir part is just as, if not more important than the oud part. And what do I mean by noir? By noir, I mean, this is the first guy that was called noir. Noir is French word. It means black, Dracar noir. And for this, it basically means black, means night. It means, and in the fragrance area, it usually means a little sweet. Now, if you've tried this, you'll be like, well, that's not super sweet, but that's because this came out in 82. This still had cinnamon, it had resins, and it had amber, so for the time, it was very sweet. And it was a sweet date night fragrance, because the year before, this beast came out, this is Forum, came out in 1981. This is super masculine, heavy musk, like very, very masculine, it's like not sweet at all. And then the year before that, in 1980, you got poor Louis. It had a totally different type of sweetness, uh, but heavy, still heavy on the musk. So, yeah, you went from musky to uh, quite sweet. So, noir means sweet. And if you need some current examples, I have Bulgari Band in Black. This is just loaded with Tonka. This super sweet fragrance. It's a sort of winter date night fragrance. And then also, uh, I tried uh, Luna Rosa Black <laughs> again super sweet lots of tonka so yeah pay attention to the noir it's plenty of oud and plenty of noir so the fourth thing you need to know before you buy this fragrance is this the noir part leads into the fact that this is a super sexy fragrance this is hardcore date night stuff this is right up there like after the oud wears off it's still date night at the beginning but after the oud wears off you get hit with cardamom you get hit with saffron saffron's a floral note that is both sweet and a little hint of musk, but mainly the cardamom and the saffron make it a very sweet date nighty kind of La Nuit de Lum, uh, Dolce Gabbana the One type fragrance. So yeah, this guy does a lot. And the fifth thing you need to know before you buy this is, this is my favorite Versace fragrance. I own six of them. And yeah, this is my favorite by quite a bit because it does a lot. It gives you a taste at a reasonable price, a taste of what oud is like, what it smells like. You smell like oud for about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and then it becomes a really nice date night fragrance. Again, usual Versace, reasonably priced stuff, beautiful bottle, and yeah, love it, love it. Top, top Versace fragrance by far. Take it easy.